Good morning, Junior Surfriders. Today is Tuesday, February 25th, 2020. I'm Ella. And I'm Chasso, and this is the KIS Morning Broadcast. Today's shout out goes to Mally for being such an awesome buddy to Issa in Polynesian dance class. Thank you for being so helpful, supportive, and encouraging. I see you from Miss Leha. Here is Mrs. Spencer with our Black History Month segment. Good morning, KIS. This is Mrs. Spencer with your Black History Moment of the Day. If you know me, you know I can't find my way anywhere with my way anywhere without Google Maps. What you might not know is that all of us who rely on our GPS for directions can thank a mathematician whose contributions to the mathematical modeling of the Earth recently earned her one of the U.S. Air Force's highest honors. Dr. Gladys West was born in 1930 in a rural Virginia community of sharecroppers, but from an early age she had an ambition to go beyond farm or factory work. At first, she thought she needed to move to the city to get out of the country and out of the fields. But as she spent more time in schools, she learned that education was the key to getting her out of her hometown. West worked to become a valedictorian in her high school, which won her a scholarship to attend Virginia State College. There, she became one of only a handful of women studying mathematics. West taught for several years after graduation, then accepted a position at the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Dahlgren, Virginia in 1956, analyzing data from satellites. She was only the second black woman they had ever hired. As part of her work, she created an extremely detailed geodetic model of the Earth. This model would later become the foundation for the GPS satellite system, which is widely used today for countless applications, from navigation to communication to getting Mrs. Spencer to the grocery store. West's contributions to GPS were largely forgotten until an article was written about her during Black History Month in February of 2017. On December 6, 2018, West was inducted into the U.S. Air Force's Hall of Fame in a ceremony in her honor at the Pentagon. The Air Force hailed her as one of the leaders of the early years of the Air Force space program. West says that she hopes her example will inspire another generation of female pioneers. I think I did help, she reflects. The world is opening up a little bit and making it easier for women, but they still got to fight. And that's today's Black History Month moment. The following are the reminders for today. The pickup day and date for the Regal Fundraiser Food Products is Saturday, February 29th from 9 a.m. to noon. If you have any Regal tickets, please bring them to the front office. Jamba Juice is here after school today. Make sure to renew your bus pass for the fourth quarter. Don't forget, we have Panda Express Fundraiser Thursday the 27th. And now, here's Mr. LeBoy with our Choose Love segment. All right, video 6, February 25th. This week in Choose Love, we talked about a different kind of forgiveness. Forgiving ourselves. Many of us have learned that forgiveness is a good thing. However, sometimes one of the hardest things to do is to forgive ourselves. We know everyone makes mistakes and makes bad decisions but somehow letting ourselves off the hook can be very difficult. We often relive the moment in our heads and become ashamed, guilty, frustrated, and embarrassed when others have already forgotten about it. Holding on to these negative feelings can be very, very difficult and can impact ourselves physically, emotionally, socially, and even academically. When we forgive ourselves, we are telling ourselves that the mistake we made doesn't define us. It was a mistake, and though it may have been a bad choice, we are not bad because of it. So, if you're feeling guilty, ashamed, or embarrassed because of something you did, let's have Surfrider pride and forgive ourselves. Recess duty for the week is Miss Bai in the courtyard, Mr. Budenholzer in the Lana Kai Breezeway, Miss Berg at the front of the band room, Mr. Carbone in room 101, and the PE department has the courts. Lunch duty for today is Mr. Wood's period 6 class. And now's the time you've been waiting for. It's the lunch menu. Today at all locations they will be serving. Hot dog on a freshly baked bun. Fresh celery and carrot sticks with ranch dip. Seasoned curly fries. And a fruit slushy. Well, KIS, that's it for today. On behalf of the KIS broadcast team and everyone here at KIS, have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful day. day. Remember, Remember to work hard, people. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs>